Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of Fearless Tarot, How to Give a Positive Reading in Any Situation, which is out today, everybody. I'm so excited. The actual book is here. Look how beautiful the spine is, the back. Uh, it's illustrated. It goes into everything from uh, my take on tarot spreads and even some of the special ones that I've designed myself. Uh, and it leads you through all the cards uh, with all those heartfelt expressions that a lot of you uh, found me through. Um, go on out there, get this book, and if you love it, leave a kind review because it's going to make the book really take off. Uh, it's time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So earlier today on Instagram, I placed up a photo with three different animals on it, and the animals were the chameleon, the moth, and the deer. And I asked you to use your intuition and ask yourself which animal's calling to you because that animal has an important message for you. For those of you who picked chameleon, the card says act as if. And sometimes when we're trying to manifest something, it's important to act as if we already have it or that we're just open to that energy. Uh, and it's amazing what can manifest. And then chameleon as well is that animal that can kind of blend in and kind of go undercover when it needs to. So sometimes this could indicate it might be time to slink off into the background and kind of watch and wait and see how things go uh, before taking action at this time. The first card for Chameleon is where it's best for them to place their focus this next week. And we got the Page of Wands. He's always a card of aspiration. And you can see he's holding that wand in front of him that's rather like a measuring rod. And he's not quite grown into it all the way. Whenever we see the Page of Wands, he says something's on the right track. It's growing in the right direction, but you haven't quite grown into it completely yet. And so allow for some room to grow still. And then also the Page of Wands is looking up. So sometimes he tells you to look up to your role models, your heroes, or the people that have accomplished whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. If they can do it, you can do it. And you may have those same qualities within you that you need to cultivate, and they might need a little bit of growth right now, but you can absolutely achieve it. So this is a time to look around, act as if, look at what you want one day, and say, you know, how did they do it? And if you're uh, able to do it, pick their brain, see what they, they say about it. Uh, second is advice from your inner wisdom. Oh, and we got the lover's card for chameleon. So this is going to be such a lovely week of bringing harmony to opposites. Uh, the lover's is also a card of choices. So this could be an important time to make some choices about your growing process with that page of wands card next to it. Whenever we see the lover's card, it can always indicate relationship interests uh, or issues uh, coming to the surface. But also for me, that angel above that's looking magnanimously down at the couple uh, kind of feels like your higher self, which really needs to look at your life from a higher vantage point right now in order to see it in proper perspective. Uh, try to look on your own life with that divine love and get rid of the judgment. And that's how the harmony is going to happen. And then finally, we have the mythic archetype that will be helping the chameleon people. And we got Dionysus, the god of wine. Uh, Dionysus can indicate that it is time to relax a little bit more. It's time to have some fun. It's time to kick up your heels. Um, also, Dionysus is associated with ecstasy, uh, pleasure, enjoyment. And so this could just be a time to just let yourself uh, give a gift to your senses at this uh, time or during this next week. Also, Dionysus is kind of a rebel. He's kind of free-spirited. So this could indicate as well, if you're feeling confined or that the structures around you are too rigid, it's time to defy those. It's time to go in a different direction. Uh, that is Chameleon. Next, we're going to go into the Moth, and it says, Surrender Now. And much like Butterfly, Moth is about that transition, transformation, uh, but also, more importantly, because it's a night butterfly, it's about letting go, letting go of things that might be kept in shadow. And again, like the Moth attracted to the flame, it might be time for you ret uh, to return to the light as well. Uh, first card for Moth is where it's best for them to place their focus this next week. And we get the Eight of Cups, which is always a card of soul searching. You see the man who's on that journey toward the water. He's getting back in touch with what's real. This is a card of authenticity. And there's that eclipse happening where the moon is blocking out the sun. And the moon is your inner authentic self. It's blocking out the sun, which is your image or what other people think or what demands are being placed on you externally. And it's just time for you to get called home again, home inward. Reconnect with that powerful, magical part of yourself and get real with yourself at this time too. 
Uh, second, we have advice from your inner wisdom. And look at that, we get the magician. Uh, the magician reminds you of all that is limitless within you, Moth. And he's telling you that you have the power to make the changes you want to see in your world. However, you need to be divinely channeling the best, most authentic part of yourself in order for it to manifest completely. Sometimes if we think we want something and we put all our energy into getting that, it doesn't work out. And it's because there's a better way. And so the magician is telling you to rise above the ego's wants and needs and instead let spirit direct your path. And like the moth card was saying, surrender it now. And then finally, we have the mythic archetype that is going to be helping the moth people. And there she is, Hemera, the goddess of day. And she's also a goddess of rebirth and renewal. And she always tells you, hey, day follows night. There is a new beginning. Uh, you are not trapped in old cycles. And with that magician card, this is just such an empowering time to set your intentions for how you want to use this brand new day and what you want to uh, manifest uh, well into the future as well. If it's in alignment with your authentic self, it's going to work. And then finally, we have the people who pick deer and it says bring a gentle touch. And if we've ever seen deer, they're so gentle in nature. So this could just be a time to go slow, be gentle with yourself and also be kind uh, to yourself and kind to others at this time as well. First card is where it's best for deer to place their focus this next week. And we see this card a lot lately, the Seven of Pentacles. It's a card that says that the seeds are planted, that things are growing in a really lovely way, but it's not yet ready for harvest. And much like this uh, gardener is gently tending the crops in front of him, you're going to want to gently uh, tend the seeds of your goals as well. And it's important, you know, as things are growing, not to get frustrated. You know, if you were to plant a, a, a flower, you wouldn't start screaming at it within two days because it wasn't a full finished bloomed product yet. Uh, you would allow it a little bit of time to grow. So that seven of pentacles could just say, be kind to yourself as things are growing. Stop applying so much pressure to yourself. Don't look at what other people are doing and saying, oh, well, they're doing that and look at where I'm at and it's not enough. This card says, you know what? That bread is baking in the oven. If you try to eat it right now, it is not ready to eat. It won't be good. Uh, let this take some time and just be patient with yourself and know that it's all growing toward its proper end. Uh, second, we have advice from your inner wisdom. Uh, and there it is. We got the Nine of Pentacles, which is the wealth card in the tarot. This is a card of full cultivation. Here we see the figure who's trying to grow something. Here we see the woman who's enjoying the fruits of the laborer. The Nine of Pentacles has those two little animal totems with the Nine of Pentacles woman on the card. Uh, and she resembles the Empress. She's got a lot of the same qualities with the fruit on her gown. But she's got that little hawk or, or falcon, which is known for its focus. She's put a hood over it, which means she's training her own focus. She's being really deliberate about what she's placing her attention on because she knows what she places her attention on is what she's going to get more of. And so it's so important that you're very selective uh, this next week with what you're focusing on, what your intentionality is all about. And then also both of these cards really tell you to be patient because way in the bottom corner of this Nine of Pentacles card is that little snail. And if you know anything about those, uh, they move very slowly and they're also very sensitive. So this could just be a time where you need to be sensitive with yourself. You need to be gentle with yourself and you need to allow yourself a little bit more time uh, in order to reach your goal. Uh, both of these cards are wonderful cards, financially speaking, and also uh, rewarding patience. And then finally, we got the mythic archetype that will be helping the people who pick deer. And we have gentle Hestia, the goddess of the hearth and home. So this could be a time where you're really cultivating that warm feeling in your own home. It might also be time where you're really coming home to yourself. Uh, both Hestia and the Nine of Pentacles can also say, pay attention to your home environment and make sure it is exhibiting uh, good qualities right now of uh, warmth and wealth and success uh, because you will get more of that. So that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can always check me out at ElliotOracle.com and also get to your bookstore and get Fearless Tarot, order it online. Uh, it's everywhere. So I'm so excited to uh, do these readings every week. I hope to see you again next week and do take care.